Welcome back survivors, it's Shay1 here. In today's video, we are going to be going over Wyvern. Stick around to the end because I'm going to teach you guys how to tame these guys, where to find them, what to PvP, and a bunch of neat tips and tricks that people just definitely don't know about, even though that they're some of the most popular tames in the game, okay? If not the most popular tame in the game. So, first off is the Wyverns that we are going to be talking about today. There are a total of nine different Wyverns. Okay, you have the Void Wyvern, then you have the Standard 4 ice lightning poison and fire and then you have the three tropical crystal wyverns or the crystal wyverns uh tropical crystal blood and ember and then you finally have the zombie wyvern in all of its variations okay so a total of nine but to stick to it for this video we are just going to be going over these four ice lightning poison and fire generally like the the main four wyverns to get okay Alright, so now let's get into actually what you need to tame a wyvern, right? And how you're going to do so. So, the very first thing that you need to tame a wyvern is a pteranodon. Any pteranodon matters. This is the absolute bare minimum one. I would highly recommend leveling up at least 1,000 stamina, maybe 1,200 stamina, and put the rest into health to snatch one of these guys. Um, there's much better tames to do this with, like a trophy or a snow owl or a griffin or really a maywing or a bloodstalker really anything that's fashion to on but the, the bare minimum is going to be it's random so that's what we're going to use today but yeah you're going to want to level this guy at least 1200 stam and then the rest probably into health and that should be good enough to go next you're also going to want a harpoon and a sword or something just to kill with even a dinosaur works like a cryopod a dinosaur to kill a wyvern with um because you can net gun wyverns and stuff so we're gonna use that to get the milk. No trap, no nothing, easy peasy. So one quick note is where you can actually find these guys. You can find these guys on Scorched Earth, Lost Island, Valgaro, Ragnarok, and last but not least, Fjordor. Okay, I'm not gonna show it in this video, but I'm gonna show all the spawn locations in a separate video. The card will be at the top right. It's gonna come out very, very shortly. And yeah, feel free to click on that to figure out where all the spawn locations is, just because this video would take too long. So now let's get into how you're actually going to tame this guy. All right, so now we are actually going to go and run the egg real quick. We're going to do it on Fjordor on the Fire and Wyvern Den because it is low-key one of the easiest next to Val. Plus, you can spawn in like literally like right here, right next to this yellow drop, uh, right next to the Desmo Cave. And also there's Magma Source to spawn in. So it's just a very nice location. A lot of reasons to come down here, right? And you're literally just going to fly. want to stay away from all these Fire Wyverns because they'll mess you up. And you're just gonna come around here and search for an egg. All right, so this wyvern just aggroed onto me. Okay, fear not, because you fly just about the same speed as a wild wyvern on a PT. But when this happens, your first instinct should be not to fight, but should to be run away. Okay, and you're gonna want to lead it to other dinosaurs or other tames like this stego right here. Come on and eat this guy. All right, he has absolutely zero interest in the second. Nope, nope. And then there you go. Boom. Then you go right back to it, right? You fly up, and then we go right back to the den while he eats the stego. All right, boom. I've spotted an egg. I'm just going to come down in here and snag this thing. So, note, you don't really want to care what level egg unless you're a gangster. Level 12, we'll take it. I don't even care. But as soon as you pick it up, literally every wyvern in the entire den is going to be honing after you and coming back for their egg because mama's mad, right? So... Just the same method as before, you're just going to lead all these wyverns onto other wild creatures and, you know, just have them eat everything else in the server. And boom, just like that, we are out, son, with our first wyvern egg. Alright, so now that we have the egg, what we're going to have to do next is we're going to have to get some milk for the egg, right? We got to go milk these, uh, these wyverns over here. So, typically, what you're going to want to do is, in order to milk them, you have to knock out a female wyvern. Okay, there's a very, very easy way to do this. People be building these grand traps out in the desert and luring them into, uh, uh bro, we ain't got time for none of that. None of that, we ain't got time for none of that. So, what you could do is if you have a primitive long neck with shocking tranquilizing darts, um, you can literally knock out a female wyvern just by neck gunning it and shooting it with shocking tranquilizing darts under the level of 100. So, let's do that now. So I'm going to do a fire wyvern, okay, and I just went off a of GCM mode just to show you uh, that this is possible. And we're going to spawn this guy in. Okay, this is a male, so. Alright, boom. So we got a female, so I'm going to let her get up, kind of do her thing. I'm going to neck on her. Oh, dodge that. Oh, damn, we got hit by that. 
Good news is if you have uh, 380 HP, you will survive that. That is nice. Just barely, but you will. So after she's down here, you're immediately going to want to start tranking her. I might have took too long. But like this, be this is like as far as you can go. I'm doing a level 100 right here just to kind of show you. Uh, this is like last second like so if you like miss a shot or something or a de render she'll like wake up So don't push it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you also have a 200 damage long neck you can do a 190 just fine It doesn't really matter. So if you have a 200 long neck you could do this with any wyvern But yeah, we're gonna want to do is just want to stand on top of her and just shoot her in the back of the head We're just gonna pump narcotics into the back of her brain until she goes to sleep Yeah, see, I told you. And then, hold on. She should be one shot. Bet you. Ah! I told you. I told you. I knew it. I knew I missed it. Alright, there we go. We got her. We got her. She's knocked out. So now what you're going to want to do is you're illegally going to want to stuck on her titties and steal all this milk. Actually, don't do that. It's a dragon. You perverted animal. But anyways, we're going to steal this milk. And then we're going to go preserve it and go raise our wyvern. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to want to do for the team is to preserve all this milk that we have collected, right? Because as you might see, it has an hour-long spoil timer, which is absolutely no bueno. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to want to get a preserving bin, okay? You're going to want to stick spark powder, your milk, and bada boom, bada bing. That makes it to five hours, so it makes it five times longer than what it would have been. Now, if you put preserving salt in here, it also doubles it as well, putting it up to 10 hours, right? So we want to preserve the milk, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and hatch our baby. So as you can see, I have this egg incubator right here, which is very, very nice. I'm going to put the little egg thingy in here, and we're going to just going to wait this out. All right, boom, this bad bubby is ready to hatch. Uh, may or may not have just uh, turned up to slide us a little bit, but that doesn't matter. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hatch our wyvern. Are you excited? Because I am. Let's hope she gets some good stats. Boom. Are you a guy or are you a girl? What are you? And we got a female. Cool. So check out this, right? So now that you've tamed your wyvern, you might be wondering, what are some good stats on your wyvern and what do you want to level? But before we do that, okay, before we do that, don't let this thing die. Don't forget, all right? You know, what you want to do is when they're very, very young, they do not eat meat. When they're in their baby stage, they don't eat meat. So you're going to have to sit here and pump them full of mama's milk and let them eat on that and suck on that until they are ready to become a juvenile at the very least. So in order for it to reach the juvenile stage, it's going to take on official at least nine hours okay what this mean it means you are going to need three wyvern milks because each wyvern milk that you put into it is equivalent to 1200 food which equivalents out to four hours per wyvern milk so you need at least three wyvern milk per wyvern to get them raised and then bada boom bada bing you wait the time and you can you know tame them up also you will find that they require wyvern milk a lot for imprint so it's very nice to have this stuff on hand now Let's go over the cool part. What are good stats on wyverns, right? One of the most important things on your wyvern is its stats and how you're going to level it. Because you've done all this work to go get your wyvern, it's very important that you know how to level your wyvern and what you want to be doing with this thing. So let's go run through that now. So there are three major stats that apply to wyverns, okay? You have health, stamina, and melee damage, baby, okay? Okay health on a one and perfect 190 because that's the highest level that their egg can get is a 190 that you can find out in the wild. Good health or okay health on a 190, you're looking at 7,500. Good health, you're looking at 8,500. And absolutely phenomenal great health, you're looking at 9,500. As far as stamina goes, 800 stamina is good. Not, or 800 stamina is okay. 900 stamina is good. And then a thousand stamina is phenomenal. You're, you're looking pretty pretty with a thousand stamina. Now, as far as melee damage goes, for a perfect 190, 250 is okay, 300 is good, and 350 is great. So, doing a quick evaluation on this guy right here, we got an absolute stud wyvern, right? This guy is a complete stud. What a menace this one is. Uh, everybody should be scared of me if I'm flying around with this guy. Uh, as you will see, this wyvern has about 9,000 health, so a little bit below great. Has phenomenal stamina at 1,000 and phenomenal melee damage at 413. This thing is going to hit like a freaking truck, bro, when this guy is all raised up. And definitely some good lines. All right, so now let's go over the stats that you're going to see on official from these guys. And how you're going to actually want to level it and how I would level it recommended. 
Okay, the first thing you're going to want to pump is going to be stamina. You're going to want to get your stamina up to at least 2,000. I mean, you can go 1,500, but you're going to be really, really rough. I like to run 3K stamina wyverns. I, I'm just like that guy. You know what I'm saying? I like to battle of endurance. You feel me? Okay, then you're going to want to pump a little bit of points into health. Unofficial, you see guys run around with like 20k HP Wyverns, like as high as 25k HP Wyverns. And then melee damage, you're going to see 20, 2,000 melee damage Wyverns, okay? So that's pretty nice. 2k, H, 2K damage Wyverns with 20,000 HP is really, really hard. I mean, you are an absolute truck throughout the sky. Something to be reckoned with. So now let's go over the fun part. How you PvP with these guys and how you're going to use every single one of these Wyverns. I'm going to make you an absolute beast Wyvern Rider and kill everybody and actually just farm a stupid amount of kits riding Wyverns. So let's go right into that. Alright, so the first Wyvern that we're going to go over is going to be the Fire Wyvern. And this will probably be the longest just because I'll give you general advice, tips for fighting on a Wyvern as well. Okay, so when you are fighting on a Wyvern... The, you have to understand the biggest counter to you is going to be a trophy so you want to stay away from those and you can pretty much merc a lot of stuff on a wyvern anything that you're pretty much faster than is a ggs uh you are in a winning fight on a wyvern and you have to understand that and you should be taking those fights like uh pts owls griffins stuff like that you should really be trying to get these fights off okay so when you actually go in for the fight you have your breath attack Breath attacking another wyvern is just generally not the wave unless they are already pretty low. Because what you're going to do is you are going to torch your stamina. And when this happens, you're going to have to land. And guess what? When you land, you are going to get picked. And it's going to be really, really rough. Okay? They're going to come and out stam you. So having a lot of stam on your wyvern is big. Uh, especially if somebody is like trying to breath attack you down to, you know pretty much trying to kill you you know on wyvern on wyvern okay you can't damage the same wyvern like type that you're writing and this goes for every wyvern in the game this advice that i'm giving right here if you are on if i'm on fire wyvern if i try to fight another fire wyvern my breath attack doesn't do any damage so don't be a noob and do that okay same thing with lightning poison every other wyvern in the game is the exact same way like if i were riding a lightning wyvern for example and try to lightning attack another lightning wyvern it doesn't do anything it doesn't do any damage so it's no bueno okay now for the fire wyvern or just still so now sticking with still so next thing is so the next thing is right how you're going to pick people so the next thing is how you're going to pick people what you're going to want to do is hypothetically you're fighting another wyvern okay the worst thing that you could do is get picked yourself so what you're going to want to do is before you go in for the pick go up and look straight up and do that right and this gives like a way bigger sweeping motion as far as the attack and you are a lot more likely i don't know why it just makes it to where like the range that the pick that you pick somebody is a lot bigger so it's, it expands your picking motion a lot more and plus at the same time since you're heading straight up you kind of avoid yourself of getting picked and this is a common trick people like to do they'll kind of fly low then they'll go straight up and you know just snatch you you know bait you into thinking that they're going to be a free kill okay you also find like when people are flying straight level at each other this is low-key kind of a jousting match and like a 50 50 of the pick right and now the next thing that you should be thinking about is if you pick somebody the very first thing you want to do is take them as far away from their dinosaur as possible whatever they're riding if you pick them on a trophy a pt a snow owl or another wyvern whatever uh, you know whatever they're riding you want to take them as far away from their mount as possible the reason why is because when they eventually get free hypothetically let's say they have a grappling hook and they grapple your wyvern so if you didn't know this if you get caught in a grappling oh well wyverns uh wyvern's claws you can grapple the wyvern uh oh i'm probably dead here oh i'm a g i'm an absolute g but you can actually grapple the wyvern if you're in his claws i wish just gonna show me show you guys this but you grapple the wyvern and it gets you out of the claws and you'll kind of and then you cut the grapple and kind of just fall off the sky and so you have to understand this is a wyvern player right after you pick him up you just you can attack him in your claws but the percentage of this landing is about 20 to 15 percent of your attacks actually working but you know you might get like 10 in a row and then the dude dies immediately or three in a row and the dude has low hp and he dies immediately so 
What you want to do is after you pick them, literally just start attacking and flying in a straight line as far away as possible. Now, if he has a grappling hook and breaks free from your claws, he's going to be falling out the sky, okay? And he has to have a parachute or he's going to be dead. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to follow him. And as soon as he pops that parachute, this goes for pretty much almost every wyvern, you just want to breath attack him. Breath attack him. And just absolutely murder yourself. One or two breath attacks, generally one if you have a high damage wyvern, will kill a player. So that is, you know, it's pretty much a GG. And that's the primary reason why you want to lure him away. Because after you lure him away, hypothetically, let's say you miss this first one. Well, he's still like parachuting to the ground. He starts running. Then he has to run all the way back to his mount. Right? And during this time period, you can literally just sit here and like, you know, get like seven, eight chances at breath attacks on him. And he's, he's pretty much, it's GG's, man. It's pretty much over. Okay. Now, if you get picked on a wyvern, before you start riding a wyvern, you want to have your grappling hook equipped. The reason why is because if you get picked, you can immediately shoot and get out of the wyvern's claws. It's quick! So that way he can't take you away from your team and you have a higher chance at surviving. Okay? So that's one th That's like general advice for all wyverns. Okay? Now, one major thing is with the fire wyvern, this guy shreds bloodstalkers. And here's what I mean. If you are attacking a Bloodstalker player, and this goes for all Wyverns, but Fire Wyverns counter Bloodstalkers the best in the game. You First off, you can just straight pick up a Bloodstalker, and he's literally fucked. He can't do anything. Like, if you pick up a Bloodstalker, uh, you, they can't do anything. And only actual, like, normal Wyverns can pick up a Bloodstalker, not Crystals, right? You literally just take it away, and you just kill it, right? Just munch it in your claws, and bada boom, bada bing, he's dead. Also, if you land... A fire attack on a bloodstalker hypothetically right this attack lasts for like five or six seconds okay during this time the bloodstalker cannot spin his webs the fire cuts his webs I don't know if you guys knew that or not but that is phenomenal right anytime you see a bloodstalker you should be on if you're on a fire you should be thinking oh this is a free kill right because it is because these bloodstalker players don't even realize this either you go up you boom you fire breath him and he's pretty much he's toast bro he's toast then you almost have enough time to like loop around for another attack and just keep breath attacking him over and over and over again. Or you can just straight snatch his Bloodstalker. I mean, there's so many routes to Merc a Bloodstalker. It's not even funny if you're on your Wyvern. The thing is, you should be careful if he runs to the water. Because if he runs to the water, then there's really nothing that you can do. And do not sit like right here unless you want to lose your kit. Because what he's going to do is going to go underwater. You're going to think you're safe. And then he's going to pop up and snatch you off your Wyvern or you're dead. You can't do anything. So, you want to stay as far away from water when you're fighting a Bloodstalker if you're on a Wyvern as possible. Okay, and vice versa if you're on a Bloodstalker. So, that's pretty cool. That's the Fire Wyvern. So, now we are going to go over the Ice Wyvern because these two are very, very similar. So, the big difference between the Ice Wyvern and the Fire Wyvern is the fact that the Ice Wyvern does way less damage. Okay, however, he does have a slow and the Ice Wyvern is low-key a stud. People hate on the Ice Wyvern, but this guy is actually phenomenal. However, it's very niche when he shines. He shines in multitude of players like big PvP battles whenever you have your teammates there to support you. I can't believe I can't find any dinosaur to show you. But his breath attack does a 10 second slow. And this slow is bad. Like, almost as slow as this right here. Like, it is really, really bad. This 10 second slow is phenomenal because what you could do is you have difficulty playing off your slow. You might be able to come back around and loop in the 10 seconds and you know, pick him. And then bada boom, bada bing, you should know what to do from there. But if you have somebody even on a PT, bro, a teammate who's even on a PT, you can literally just slow this guy. Your teammate comes, picks him off, bada boom, bada bing. Everything's going to shit for this guy, right? Same thing applies to the Ice Wyvern as the Fire Wyvern. Uh, if you uh, snatch the guy, lead him away from his team, you try to just drop him. If he gets out of the claws, you know, come around, breath attack him as he's falling him down, and just keep trying to breath attack him. Oh, guys, it's the exact, it's the exact same thing. It's just he does a little, he does a lot less damage than the fire wyvern, a considerable amount. It'll probably take like four breath attacks, three breath attacks to kill somebody, but compared to the fire wyverns, one or two. But the fact that the slow is there, it's really, really nice for, you know, big PvP battles. Okay. 
So the next is Lightning, and Lightning is low-key OP. Like, this guy is, like, most people would consider Lightning the best just because the amount of damage this guy brings, bro. And how far this can go. So this Lightning attack goes very, very far, as you can see. It's pretty easy to aim to, and if you have a 2,000 damage Fire Wyvern, bro, or 2,000 damage Lightning Wyvern, you can literally, like, just blast people, bro. Like, I, I mean, one or two seconds in, of your lightning attack on somebody, and they're absolutely cooked. They're dead, right? You can also lightning breath the people off the back of their chain, which is nuts. Somebody's on another fire wyvern or a PT. Boom! That just smoked. You're not, you're not attacking the team. You're not lighting up the team. I mean, you will be, but you're lighting up that guy. Like, the player itself, which is just... Disgusting. It is so nasty. Did I also mention that this does storm core damage? Oh, yeah. So if this guy doesn't have a lot of fortitude, hypothetically, let's say he has like 3k HP, he's not gonna have, you know, he'll have like six, he might have like 600, but if he has zero fortitude, bro, your attack doesn't kill him. Guess what? You knock him out, you cage him, then his whole account's gone. His character's gone. He can't even fight you anymore. He's done. You caged him. It's, 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 it's really broken. So the Fire Wyvern is arguably the best Wyvern in the game, in my personal opinion. And also, you can pick up more stuff than the Crystals, which is nice. Okay, now we are going to be getting into the Poison Wyvern. Now this one is completely different as far as you want to PvP. This guy is also an absolute stud, but he is stud in the difference of way different way. Okay, now... The thing with all the other three wyverns is very good. They're all very good for open fields, right? You pick people, you drop them, you light them up as their parachutes to their death, or you just shoot them in your claws. It's over, right? The poison wyvern is also solid, but he is very good at holding choke points because of his poison attack. This poison attack has a very slow velocity, which is very difficult to land onto players. I mean, you might be able to get it when somebody's, like, landing at the parachute. Like, you really got to time it, right? As soon as somebody lands on the parachute, you, like, you whack him. And this does a lot of damage, by the way. The th thing with this is this is great to get, like, unsuspecting players, like, who are just down below you and shoot them right off the back. Like, you could literally come from above and just... It's like, much like the lightning to where you, your main goal in the poison wyvern is to kill the rider, right? You just knocking people off the back of their team. And this also does a phenomenal amount of damage. So even if you miss the, uh, even if you miss the uh, rider, you're still going to do a lot of damage to the tank, which is very, very nice. But he's very good at holding down choke points. Like hypothetically, let's say like uh, this is a cave right here, for instance, between these two trees. You're just going to shoot between the two trees and like just spam this and like have fun. Like just have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like so that is super annoying to deal with. Number one because you can't see shit. Number two, because you're just getting spammed by a poison wyvern, and he's just doing a ton of damage to you, and it's just so annoying, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it with the wyverns, man. Lead them away from their team, kill them as they parachute, or kill them in your claws if they're retarded and don't have grappling hooks. Know that you're outclassed if somebody has a trophy, and uh, go out and take those fights, and you know, have fun, you know, stealing kits from people. So that's pretty much it for the video. I, it was a long one. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I try to make this a really, you know, really good. Um, if you guys did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because that means the absolute world to me. I'm currently on a mission to reach like 500 subscribers. You guys have been killing it with the support recently. We're at like 430. So it's absolutely phenomenal. Very heartwarming for sure. Um, so thank you. And if you like my content, please be sure to go check out all my other videos. I have videos going in depth about almost every creature in this game. Um, so yeah, go check out those videos. Other than that, peace out and may God bless you all.